Hello, and welcome to Red Bow. A dream. Was it a dream? Anyways, this is the same creator, I think, that made, uh... My big sister, and just ignore them. There's something in here. There's something here. The dusty old bookshelf. Hey, what is that? The key? I wonder what it's for. There's something else here. Wonder what's on. Nothing. isn't a dream. Am I even alive? Come on, Rose, snap at it. Be brave. I was expecting to see something. Instead, I saw nothing. Nothing but the darkness. But I stepped forward. Then everything became clear. Where am I? Where's my house? This must be a dream. If it's a dream, then how do I wake up? Oh, I'm not the only one here. Excuse me. Can you help me? Excuse me? Uh. I can help you. Ah, uh, no thanks. I'm fine. I don't think you are, little girl. I see that you're lost. Oh, I'm not lost. I just can't seem to find where my front door went. Do not be afraid, little girl. I bring you no harm. Unless you bring it to me. I don't plan on hurting you. You're way too creepy. What are you, anyway? I am known as Kubi. I watch out over the void of the road. I wait for nothing, and I wait for no one. I feed off the souls lost in the void. What are you going to do with my soul? As I said, little girl, I can help you. Okay? How can you help me? I can help you leave this place. If you can help me. You need my help? Yes. We are not alone. There is another. She lives off the road. She wishes to get rid of me. But why? Because I'm not like her. I am seen as a monster in her eyes. She has a point, you know. Yes, she does. But so may you. What is your view? I don't know. Then the time for judgment can wait until you're sure. What are you searching for? A question no one has ever asked me before. bunch of notices. They all say the same thing. Go away, beast. There's nothing interesting in here. What the heck? Bones? Probably from a small animal. It's locked. There's a note on the door. Leave me alone. It's too dark to see inside. I wonder who lives here. Wait, what was that noise? Did that door just unlock itself? Should I check it out? Oh my gosh. She's dead. What are you doing in my house? Get out now. You're still alive? But how? How did you get in my house? Answer me. The door unlocked itself. I'm sorry for intruding. Do you honestly think I would believe that? A door unlocking itself? I bet it was that wretched creature that did it. Oh, you mean Kubi? I can't believe that thing has a name. What do, you, what do you want anyway? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that thing. What about it, that vile monster? Why do you hate it so much? Because look at it. It's monstrous. It's disgusting. But it seems to be peaceful. It lies. It tells nothing but lies. Why? Why does it lie? Do you know where we are? No. We are in a place between life and death. A purgatory for people like me. For people like you. A place where souls are lost and found. Found by that thing outside to eat them. Then why are you here? Huh? Why are you here? I asked first. Fine. 
I'm here because of my daughter. Your daughter. My daughter's soul is lost and I was trying to find it. But now I'm stuck in here. I can help you down. There's no point. Not with that thing outside. I'll tell you what. If you can get rid of it, I'll come down. I'll find us a way out of this place. How can I trust you? Just look at me. I'm human, just like you. Please help me. I need time to think. I'll be back. By the way, my name's Akira. I'm Ro. Please help me, Ro. Excuse me, Mr. Kubi? You're back, little girl. I assume you spoke to Akira? I did. She doesn't seem to like you very much. I can be likable, and then I cannot. It all depends on one's perspective. I think there's more to you than meets the eye. You're not telling me everything, are you? You're right, Ro. So do you know- So you do know my name. Yes, I know the names of everyone, everything. But only what needs to be known. What do you mean? I see y'all drifting through the road. I see the lost souls screaming for an answer. Do you see her soul? I do not. Why? Because it is not her that is lost, but Akira. Her daughter was too young to understand death. Her soul moved on. Akira was foolish. So Akira took her own life, yes. It is a common mistake. Why was it a mistake? We do not choose the times we let go. Life will choose for us. If we break this rule, we end up here, on the road. It symbolizes an unfinished journey. She is searching for something that is not here. Is there a way for her to believe this place? Yes. How? I must tell her. She must accept what has happened. She must move on. That's impossible. She lost her own child. Then her soul will be stuck here forever. There must be another way. There is, but I'm sure you'll never find it. I must. Then ask me a question. A question that I've never been asked before. I will release her soul from the road. But just remember this. If she does not accept what has happened, have you really saved her? Once you have made your choice, place an item on the debris next to me. This will be your answer. Akira? Did you get rid of him? Akira, why are you here? What? I already told you. I'm looking for my daughter. But Akira, she's not here. What? You've been speaking to that creature, haven't you? Akira, you must understand. It lies. She is here. Please, Ro. Please. Akira, please help me, Ro. Please. Something shining at the bottom, huh? A picture. It's of a baby girl in a crib. Akira, I have something for you. Is that my baby, Daisy? I'm so sorry. I just couldn't bear life without you. I need you. What happened, Akira? It was my fault. I took my eyes off her for just a moment. There was a lovely breeze that day. It blew my old red ribbon into her crib. Exactly like the one you're wearing now. She wrapped it around her neck when she rolled over. I couldn't even hear her last cries. I'm so sorry, Akira. I'm the one that should be sorry. It was my fault I ended up here. I deserve to be here. It wasn't your fault, Akira. It wasn't Daisy's either. I can help you get out of here, but you can't bring her back, can you? Leave me, bro. Leave me here. Is this a ribbon? Excuse me. Where did you get this? I found it at the other end of the road. A red ribbon. I haven't seen this since since you killed yourself with it, Daisy. That is no longer my name. Why? I have a new purpose. This is my purpose now. I have a question for you. Then speak it. If you had a choice, what would it what would you do? I was never given a choice. Beings are incapable of such things at a young age. I had no choice. 
You do now. Then my choice is this. Goodbye, Ro. And thank you. What a weird dream. The road. That creature. I'm just glad I'm finally awake. Where am I now? A shop? It looks like somebody's home. But where is my home? Why? Why am I here? These look so old. I've never even heard of these magazines. Am I pretty? What kind of magazine name is that? Oh cool, some fireworks. I'll take some of the firecrackers. The neighbor's kid used to scare his dog with these. Stupid kid. The dog didn't sleep for like a week. Hello. Is there anyone here? There must be upstairs. Huh. The phone. Hello. Hello. Is there someone there? Am I pretty? Who is this? They hung up. Who was that? Oh well, I'd better keep searching this place. There's no tone. Then how come it rang earlier? There's nothing useful here. Wait a second. There's something shimmering up there, but I can't reach it. Let's see if I can use this to reach it. What's this? A lighter? It could be useful, I guess. I don't need anything here just yet. It's locked. It's a bunch of photos. There's a pale woman in her, with her boyfriend in all of them. Only, someone's drawn a big smile over the boyfriend's face. It's an old dirty bed. Who lives here? It's an empty sink. At least the water runs here. There's a pot on the stove. Now I just need something to cook it in. Boy, am I hungry. Well, hello there, Mr. Kitty. I can see you through the window. He probably can't hear me. Hey, that looks like a key in his paw. But how would I get him to drop it? There's nothing in here. Oh my god. It's not turning on. Maybe it's broken. Well, at least the light is on. So there is power. Seems like a bad idea. But oh well. Seems like the igniter is broken. Now I just need something to light the stove. Okay, here we go. This should wake up Mr. Kitty. I better stand back. Looks like Mr. Kitty ran away. Sorry, Mr. Kitty. See if he dropped the key. Mr. Kitty. Now I wonder what this lens locks. It's a power box. Strange. There's cable running to the sewer over there. Maybe it's powering something. What's down there? Better not tamper with it. It's a manhole. It must lead to the sewer system. Well, here goes nothing. Do you think I'm pretty? I can't even see you. Why are you hiding in the shadows? Because I live in them. It is easier to hide than to be seen. Thus I make the darkness my home. Then how can I tell if you're pretty? Then I will show myself. This is what I look like. Am I pretty? What is that around your mouth? It is a red bow. To conceal my everlasting smile. Smile? How can anyone be happy living in a place like this? It's so dark and damp. You didn't answer my question. Am I pretty? Well, I think you are. Huh? Who was that? Someone that helps me remember. Remember to what? I remember what? To remember to smile. Please forgive me, little one. Who was that screaming? The toilet. Disgusting. Wait, what's that? It looks like some sort of crowbar. 
Maybe I can use it somehow. Whoops, on it close. This should be able to open it. Yes, I don't need this anymore. Who's there? Wait, you're not. My name is Ro, and you are? Kokai. My name's Kokai, but she calls me Smiles. Is she still here? Has she gone? How did you get here? Whoa, slow down with the questions, mister. Even I don't know how I got here. And I don't know where your lady friend went. She's no friend of mine. Not anymore. Why? Because she did this to me. I didn't deserve this. Right? Look, mister, I don't even know you. Am I pretty? I said you are, my darling. You're the prettiest girl in the whole world. You have a lovely smile. What are you talking about? Bro, you have to help me. If you help me, I'll help you escape this place. But only if you trust me. Really? How? This nightmare will play over and over. Until she's dead. What? I can't kill anyone. You have to. Please. What? No. There must be another way. That is what the last person to end up here said. Wait, I'm not the first? Who else has been having these dreams? Just promise me one thing. Just don't answer her question. What question? Please, Ro. End this nightmare for the both of us. What's this broken TV doing? Down here. She brought it down here. I was forced to watch her dance. She was quite the TV star, but I couldn't take it anymore, so I snapped the power cable and destroyed that box. There's a power extension cable leading to the surface. Power's off. Now I just need to learn the new QE to the sewer. What's this? A bottle of torch oil. We'll keep your torch burning even in wet weather. This could be handy. I need to use the power cable for something. I better take this. Where did you go, little one? I was trying to find a way out of this place. You can't escape, not until you answer my question. Am I pretty? I guess so? Well then. Am I pretty now? What the heck are you? Answer me, am I pretty? I don't know. Only when I said that I was pretty, after I revealed my face. Kokai? Smiles. Yes. It's time to say hello. She must be heading for the sewer. Let's hope this works. I wonder, is this her? And him? I'd better take this. Excuse me. Seems like we have a visitor, Kokai. Leave the girl alone. Welcome, Ro. I see you have met my pet Smiles. He could answer my question. What was his answer? What was your answer, Smiles? I said he had a pretty smile. I thought it was so sweet. Thought I gave him a pretty smile, too. He didn't deserve what you did to him. You're not pretty. You're ugly. What? How dare you? You little pest. How dare you call me ugly? She's right, you know. What? No, please, darling. Please don't call me ugly. It's okay, my sweetness. I didn't mean it. Just talk with me. Not with her. Do you think I'm pretty? Of course, my sweetness. Aw, oh, darling. Seems to have her distracted. Now's my chance. Hey, Minikui. I have something for you. What is it? Do you remember this? That picture. Our first date. Where did you get this? You've been living in the shadows too long, lady. It was right outside your door. I haven't left that place for so long. And now I have a question for you. For me? Do you think you're pretty? Well, yes I do. That's a lie. You're right, it is. Ever since I lost my dancing career, I thought it was over for my looks. I thought it was over my looks. So I asked my boyfriend if I looked ugly, and he said, You have a pretty smile. I must have overreacted. I'll say, just look at him. 
Please forgive me, my darling. I let my own selfishness destroy our lives, especially yours. I forgive you. I've waited a very long time to tell you that. Thank you, my love. And thank you, Ro. I will send you home. And now we can have a happy afterlife together. Where am I now? Above? What's this fishing rod? It looks pretty old. It may break if I try to use it. Still, it may be useful. Oh, uh, it's empty. Wait, there's something shiny in there. I can't reach it. I need something to fish it out. Let's hope this line holds. I got it. A key. What do you unlock, little guy? I don't think I need this. I'll need this fishing rod anymore. I'll probably break if I try to use it again. What the? What the heck are you? Who the heck am I? Who the heck are you? And what are you doing on my boat? I woke up here. My name's Ro, by the way. Well, Ro, I didn't say you could come aboard, but since you're here, you think you could find me some booze? Some booze? Yeah, something to drink. You look too short to be allowed to drink, and you look a little too human to be here. Listen, I'll make you a deal. Find me some booze and I'll help you get home. Deal? I don't know. How do I trust you? Says the stowaway on me boat. Offers that, Ro. And, by the way, the name's Jojo. Where the heck am I supposed to find booze? Well, you showed up out of nowhere. I'm sure some booze will too. You can always check below for some. Here's the key that will get you into the hole. An empty bottle. This could be useful. I can't do anything with it. I don't need this key anymore. This place is awfully dark. Why does this keep happening to me? Am I stuck in a dream? This is no dream, little one. Who said that? Who are you? The important question is, who are you, little one? My name is Ro. Seems we finally meet at last. Wait, how did you know who I am? I see many who travel through this world, each with their own journey to discover. And you're not the first I've seen that wears a red bow. So this is not a dream? It depends on what you think is a dream. Our worlds collide once you fall asleep. Dreams are just our imagination of past events. But do you remember any of this, Ro? No, I don't remember. Then this must be real. We are not created by dreams, but by memories. Memories of those who have suffered help mold this world. Then how did I end up here? That answer is much more simple than you think. But for me to answer your question, Ro, I will need something from you. Great, there's always a catch. I only ask for my freedom, Ro. That drunken imbecile. He could seal me in this wretched cage. Why, you seem friendly enough. He doesn't trust my nature, nor should you. Your nature, which is. I have a bad habit of drowning things, Ro. It is my purpose. Well, that's reassuring. Let me ask you something, Ro. What is your purpose? Mine is to find a way home. Excuse me. And you won't find it until you help me. We spirits are just as vulnerable as you. Just remember that, Ro. Crowbar. This can be useful. Any luck, Ro? No, not yet. But I still don't know if I trust you, you know. It's not about trust, Ro. Trust is useless in this world. I remember a time when this vessel had a crew. Loyal and hardworking, always followed the captain's orders. They trusted him. Now they sleep soundly in their deep sea beds by the deeds of my cold, lifeless hands. I can see now why Shoujo doesn't trust you. I am no murderer. I cannot drown what has already drowned. What do you mean? The crew trusted an alcoholic to lead them. He should be at the bottom of the sea, not a bottle. Wait, Shoujo is the captain? If Shoujo is the captain, then what does that make you? The revenge. I need to go now. Ro, you are not a part of our world. Therefore, you should not help us find a way home. I can't do anything with it. It's a typo. It's a big box. Well, let's give it a shot. There. Whoops, broke the crowbar. I wonder where this hole leads.
Great, it's locked. Why is everything locked in these weird places? Guess I'll have to find the key. Let's try you here. It worked. Well, this must be the booze Jojo was talking about. But I can't just carry it in my hands. I need to find something to put it in. This should work. There, now I just have to give this to Shoujo. This must be the switch to release Umbi, but if I- but do I really trust him? I better wait and be sure first. That's stuck. Hey Shoujo, can I ask you something? Did you find me any booze yet? Not yet, but what happened to your crew? What do you mean? They're outside working. Did you kill them? What? How do you think I... Did you murder them? I didn't mean to. It was my fault. All my fault. This used to be a humble fishing vessel, topped with the greatest crew you ever... You, you have ever seen. I was so proud of them. They were like family to me, but I saw them more than my real family. Spent all my days fishing. I was never around to be a husband and a father. I came to work one morning and found a note. Right here in this very spot that I'm sitting. She left me, took the kid too. I worked so hard for my boy that I forgot about him. The father's deepest fear. So what's one to do in a situation like this? Drink. Drink till one soul dies along with their dignity. But a fearsome storm had trapped us in. I was too drunk to stay awake. I passed out. When I woke, everything was gone. Everything but me, mere boat. I lost more than just my family. I lost my whole life. Maybe there's a way to fix this. You can't fix death, bro. But there must be a good ending to every story. Sometimes stories never end, and that's why we're here. Did you find me any booze yet? Not yet. Let me know when you do. Bro, well, you're not a part of our world, therefore you should not help us find a way home. Can I ask you something? Yes, you may. How did I end up here? I want to know before I release you. Well, then let me ask you a question, Ro. What do you do when you encounter a problem? I try to work it out and solve it. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? What if there was no solution? What would you do then? Then I would ask for help. That is what we live for, isn't it? Help because we cannot help ourselves. We are trapped here, Ro. In a world where we relive our fates until the end of time. That is why we ask for your help, Ro. It's people like you who we hope for. But why me? You were chosen because of your nature, your goodwill. Am I the only one? No, there are many just like you, young boys and girls. They drift into our world through slumber. Only kids are chosen? Yes. Children have the mind to learn and observe. They are able to make the most pure decisions. And in their sleep, they are freed from control. That is why they are chosen. Doesn't that seem like a bit too much? Asking kids to make these kinds of decisions? I mean, I had to help a lady and her baby. There are always greater needs than ours, Ro. Helping those two was your greater need, as theirs will be to help others in time. We may be spirits stuck in purgatory, but at least we still know what it means to be human. You have a special gift, Ro. Use it. Find your way home. I will, but just one more thing. It's about Shoujo. He had a family, you know. You lost. He lost in the day he lost you. I see. I'm not asking you to forgive him. I just want you to remember who you once was. It's a difficult thing to forgive someone especially over the carelessness of his actions. But he did die alongside us. I just wish he told us. We all could have lived through this. I think you still can. I still believe in second chances, even after death. Then I bid you farewell, Ro. I hope you find your way home. I remember this place, but I'm sure there was a bright light. A lighthouse. There's no light though. What's this? A lighter. It's empty. Why was I expecting someone to be here? I just want to go home. Someone did hear you. Huh? Hello, I'm Little Jacket. Oh, you're so cute. Please don't call me that. It disturbs me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. So what are you doing here, miss? Oh, my name's Ro, and I'm not sure how I even got here. Well then, welcome to the Lighthouse of Dreams. 
where all your dreams might come. Ha, huh, just joking. But seriously, this is the end of the line for you. The end of the line? You mean I could finally go home? Well, that depends. Depends on what? And how many souls you saved. Just joking. All you have to do is just turn on the light. That's it. That's it. But there's a catch. No catch, just a word of warning. The lighthouse keeper is not one to lie to. The lighthouse keeper? She's sort of like the very first spirit. She controls the lamp at the top of the lighthouse. Even if you know how to turn on the light, she's the one that lets you. Anyway, good luck. So you're the lighthouse keeper? What do you want? Well, what? What do you want? I just want to go home. Do you now? Is that really what you want? It is, yes. Sometimes we can't have the things we want. Like a second chance. Do you believe that everyone deserves a second chance? No, I don't. I believe that's not my choice to make. That should be up to the person asking for one. What about me? You? You see, I too have suffered a fate worse than death. But it would be easier to just show you. This is my unborn baby boy. We both died in a car accident. I did this to my child. Do you think he can ask for a second chance? Well, no, he can't. Just as I thought. That doesn't mean it was your fault, huh? What do you mean? You said it yourself, it was an accident. It was an accident caused by me. You have no idea what it's like to lose a child. You're right, I don't. But then why am I here? I brought you here, with many others, to help us. I can't help you. I can't help anyone. Then we are truly... Then we truly are forever lost. No, that's not true. I've seen this world for what it is, a dark and sorrowful place, but it's what I can hear that shines the light through. The people, their souls, the stories, they forget what it was that made them human. Their pasts were painful, but their futures don't have to be. Helping each other isn't enough. Helping ourselves is how we make our future bright. What about those who can't help themselves, like us? I haven't been helping anyone. I just remind them what life is all about. Struggling was holding onto our memories. I see. If you're the one that created this place, then you should know that these souls were once people. People who are stuck in one memory, like an infinite loop. And how do we help ourselves grow? By remembering. Remembering what it meant to be alive. To cherish the ones we've loved and lost. So that they can become, so that they can become a memory too. I remember someone saying, when we die, the ones who loved us will miss us. But they will never forget us. Well, Ro, thank you. I can never forgive myself for this, but this memory will live on. As will yours. You both deserve a memory. I will allow you to light the lamp. And then I can go home? Yes, you may. But before you do, can I ask you something? Sure. I would like to have your bow. My bow? Yes, I would like to keep it here. As a symbol of hope for us. Here, take it, please. Is it over? Wait, my bow. I guess it really is over. I feel sorry for the next person to wear the bow. And that was Red Bow. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in whatever else I post.